Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, Brittany, you get, I'm so glad you guys joined me today here in Dallas, Texas. The weather is hot, Ooh. humid, <laughs> and beautiful. My uh, Just state. like the two of you. <laughs> you guys are considered, I was reading some of the uh, comments on um, uh, Facebook, and you guys are considered hot. Ooh, like, I like that. Yeah. Temperature hot? Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, hot Texas? Yeah. <laughs> Too hot to touch that, I think that. That's the kind of hot they were referring to. No, you guys are great eye candy, and your show, Hyperdrive, is a great success when it launches. Tell me, let's start with you, Brittany. Tell me, um, what are you bringing to Hyperdrive? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so one thing that I don't know if a lot of people realize, but we had to bring our own vehicles yeah. to the show. And so oh. it was literally my pride and joy that I was putting on the line, not just my dignity, <laughs> Because there's always the chance you can totally make a fool of yourself. But yeah. it was also my hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, my car. And it's it was a little nerve-wracking for sure. What kind of car did you bring? I have a Nissan 350Z. What's up, my Nissan family? <laughs> <Society. Ooh. laughs> yeah. Fancy. Aaron, what did you bring and what are you bringing to the show? Uh just like Britt, I brought everything that I could possibly muster up in this shell of a human, <laughs> along with my pride and joy, which is like considered my life's work. Uh, it's a 1993 Mazda FD RX-7, uh, rotary powered. It's uh, just like everything that inspired me growing up went into this creation that became this car that is now like everything in my life. So, yeah. <laughs> What's different about hyperdrive? Hyperdrive is, it is nothing you could have ever imagined. So it's more or less, it's like Fast and the Furious meets Ninja Warrior. They came up with some of the most insane obstacles you could ever imagine that no race car driver has ever attempted ever. And then was like, here, do it. <laughs> yeah, in a competition format with 28 people competing to be at that top. From so, around the world. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. It really was nuts. This is from uh, the executive producer, Charlie Theron. Yes. And and I didn't see her, you know, I see her as a girly girl kind of thing, <laughs> but yes, she's got this hard edge show. This is oh, yeah. exciting. This makes it exciting. It absolutely does. And honestly, I did not realize how much of an automotive enthusiast she was until this show, which is so rad because it's always cool to be able to relate to other women on that type of level for me. And so seeing her, especially get into the cars with some of the yeah. other competitors with, and seeing her excitement and seeing her be able to feel, you know, the sort of passion and, you know, the obsession that we feel was really, really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Like tons of respect after seeing someone jump into a car that I would probably question yep. jumping into, <laughs> you know? So it's like awesome, <laughs> really cool. Well, this is, this is an awesome show. Now, does anybody, you guys stay safe, right? Nobody gets hurt, right? Oh, absolutely. They took safety so, they, they made it very important on the show. We're all wearing Hans devices, which is something that protects your neck uh, in the case of an accident. Uh, they had safety crews on site 24-7. Mm -hmm. They made sure that everyone was prepped, ready. They made sure the cars were safe. We had to go through safety tech. It was actually a pretty... A pretty big ordeal. Yeah, it was, uh, and you know, most of the most of the cars uh, were set up for being like in uh, some type of safe most motorsports, motorsports anyways. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, like my car has like a, a you know a FIA certified cage in it, roll cage. So if it flips over, everything's safe. But along with that comes other safety gear that you just you know that's just what you put on all yeah. the time. So, uh, it well, I want to thank my. I want to thank my audience for being here, and they listen to us on all types of platforms, and they're listening to us on Facebook. And someone told me that I called Charlene Theron uh, a girly girl, but obviously I did not see her in Mad Max Fury Road, and I forgot <laughs> I saw her in that. So she, thank you guys for yeah. doing that. Absolutely. Yeah, no, she yeah. whooped some butt on that one. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm, I'm telling you, well, you guys are just, how you sound excited about this, what, what what's in it for my audience? Everything. Yeah, everything you can imagine would be in it for the audience. Uh, massive highs, massive lows, like 
if you like like heart wrenching stuff, it's gonna be there. If you just like a ton of action, It'll obviously be there. the cars, <laughs> uh, really fast speeds, Ooh. destruction sometimes, and uh, people conquering their fears, which to me is like really awesome to see people overcome uh, adversity and um, you know any challenge that might be on or off the track in this show. It is great. And that's and honestly, that's really a big part of the show because obviously the cars play a huge role and any automotive enthusiast is going to love it no matter what motorsport you enjoy. But it's more than that. Uh, yeah, even if you're not man. into cars, it's so much about the people and the competitors as well because we, we come from around the world and we come from so many different walks of life and we've had to overcome so many obstacles and challenges in our life to get to the show and to be where we're at. And then watching us progress our way through the the course is actually it's it's so life exciting you know? <laughs> it's it's so sad and it's just it is it's absolutely life-changing mm -hmm. well you guys make it so exciting it's hyperdrive on netflix when do we get to start watching on wednesday yeah. august 24th or 21st i'm sorry wednesday august 21st you'll be able to watch the entire season when they drop it Oh, I love it. I love binge watching. I love it. I want to thank you guys and come back because I know you'll be doing another season. I, oh. gotta certain, be. I certainly hope so. <laughs> I know you will be because you bring such enthusiasm to it. And I think this is going to be on everybody's mind. You guys remember, tune in to Hyperdrive. I'll keep telling you guys and make sure that you go to Netflix. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank awesome. you, Ashley. Thank you, thank Aaron. You thank you so I'm much. sorry. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Have a good day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch 